polyphonic genres, in which multiple independent melodic lines are performed simultaneously, began to develop during the High Medieval Era, becoming prevalent by the later 13th and early 14th century. The development of polyphonic forms, with different voices interweaving, is often associated with the late medieval Ars Nova style, which flourished in the 1300s. The Ars Nova, which means new art, was an innovative style of writing music that served as a key transition from the medieval music style to the more expressive styles of the post-1400s Renaissance music era. Of greater sophistication was the motet, which developed from the clausula genre of medieval plainchant. The motet would become the most popular form of medieval polyphony. While early motets were liturgical or sacred, designed for use in a church service, by the end of the 13th century the genre had expanded to include secular topics such as courtly love. Courtly love was the respectful veneration of a lady from afar by an amorous, noble man. Many popular motets had lyrics about a man's love and adoration of beautiful, noble, and much admired women. The motet began in the early 13th century as an application of a new text to older music. Specifically, the text was added to the wordless upper voice parts of descant clausuli. These were short sections of organum, a 13th century and earlier form consisting of a plain chant melody in the tenor, above which were added one, two, or three simultaneous melodies, in descant clausuli, as opposed to other organum, all the voice parts were set in short, repeated rhythmic patterns called rhythmic modes. Next, let's enjoy a couple of early religious motets in the polyphonic genre. Oh, 
Most of these motets are in three voices, with the bottom voice changing notes at the slowest rate, the middle voice changing notes at a moderate rate, and the top voice changing notes at the fastest rate. The intervals between the three voices are mostly fifths, octaves, fourths, thirds, and sixths. In forming motets from descant clausuli, two or even three parts were each given a text. Although the earliest motets were usually in Latin and intended for church use, there later arose bilingual motets, French, Latin, English, Latin, on secular and sacred texts or combinations of both. Particularly during the late 13th century, the motet was secular in its added texts, which were often all in French. Tenors were sometimes chosen from French popular songs, rather than from plain chant. Rhythmic patterns became freer and more varied, and the rhythmic modes fell into disuse. Instruments apparently played the lower voice parts as accompaniment to a singer's performance of the upper part, so that the motet became an accompanied solo song. Next, let's enjoy a medieval secular love song motet. In this motet, we find that there are voices singing and voices playing instruments together, with the instrumental voices serving as accompaniment, and the form of performance has evolved and is no longer a single form of singing. <laughs> 